Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can make the engine use the ammo for your second weapon. Now at the moment even with the M4A1 selected, we fire a couple of bullets and you can see the ammo counter is not changing. And instead what it's done is actually used ammo from the AK-47, so that's something that we need to set up. Now what we we do have in place already is we actually have a ammo variable for the second weapon and we have the display counter being linked to that so instead what we've got to do is with our firing system if the second weapon is selected we just need to tell it to use or take away from the variable for the second weapon instead so what we need to do then is open up our third person character this is where we actually have the input for the firing system and do all of the maths for that ammo. So what we need to do then is find our input or our event rather for our main firing system. So I'm quickly look for my code and the bit that you're looking for is input action primary fire and you can see that here and then with this we check to see whether or not the player is already sprinting or reloading and if they're not, we then check to see if they've got enough ammo. So starting off with this bit, what we're going to need to do then is check to see which weapon they've got selected and then make sure they've got enough ammo for that specific weapon. And then with that, what we need to do over here is duplicate our fire variable, a uh, firing variable, uh, sorry, firing function uh, well not duplicate rather just make it switch between the fire function inside of the equipped weapon which is our AK-47 and then the second weapon uh, which was our secondary weapon and just use that function instead. So let's just start off from the top then. So the first bit we need to do then is with this branch here where we check to see whether or not the player has enough ammo. What I'm going to do just to make things easier I am going to use a node that simply says switch on integer and then with this I'm going to hook this up to the false just like the branches at the moment and then what I'm going to do is move this down. Now I'm going to have a couple of pins, I'm going to have 0, 1 and 2 just like I did before. Number 1 is our AK-47 and number 2 is going to be our M4A1. So with our AK-47, if I just hook this up into the sequence of code that I've got already, I know that's going to be work. I'm going to be working. And what I essentially need to do then from here is copy everything I've got here and just change it, uh, change the reference from the equipped weapon to the secondary weapon and then just play around with the function. Now to make this a little bit cleaner, what I'm going to do is drag this down here and just tidy things up and then with that I'm just going to have a second line of, line of code underneath which is just going to be for the secondary weapon references. Now I'm not changing anything here, I'm simply just moving it around so it's a little bit easier to work with. And you can see that is exactly what I am doing at the moment. Now you can see here that I had this little node here which it says is firing is untrue. Just leave that unchecked like it is at the moment. I'm gonna keep moving these. And for me, this looks a little bit cleaner, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So, after my switch on integer, which I've got over here, I need to hook up the weapon selected variable into here so it knows what these three numbers are relating to. So zero is no weapon, I'm, not, I'm just going to leave that blank. One is going to be our AK-47 and two is going to be our M4A1. Okay, so with this, what we're going to do now then is we are going to, uh, I'm just going to put this under here as well, that should be there. And then just leave that there. So what we're going to do now then is just remake all of this code, but for the second weapon. So we're going to be running a branch check, first things first, to see whether or not they have enough weapon ammo. So get a reference to your secondary weapon and then drag that out and type in get ammo. And then with this, we are just checking to see whether or not the ammo is greater than zero. 
and hook this up into your condition. And then if it is, what we're gonna do if it's true is set is firing to true. If it's false, do nothing because we don't want them to be able to fire. And then from here, what we need to do is get a reference to the secondary weapon and this is where we're gonna tell it to actually fire. So from this secondary weapon, inside of there, we should have a function called fire and this is gonna fire the second weapon instead of the first one. So the muzzle flash is gonna come out of the M4A1 instead. And then with this, with the delay, what we need to do is just copy this, paste it in, and then just hook it up just like this. Now delay should be equal to our fire rate. Now for now, I'm just gonna have the fire rate set to the same thing as our equipped weapon. You could do it for the secondary weapon. It's exactly the same. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get fire rates from here. So that just controls how fast the secondary weapon is gonna fire. And then lastly, at the end here, we are just going to check to see whether or not the weapon is still firing. And we are just going to copy this variable, paste it in, and if it's true, we are going to make it go back to the start and then just go up here. So you can see at the moment we have it going in, that's fine. And now what we also need to do is go into our firing function for the secondary weapon and change the references for the ammo. So open this up and let's take a look at this. So hopefully all of these references are local and they should just work, but some of them aren't. So what we need to do then is just go through these. So fire, when you first fire, it is going to spawn a projectile or a projectile, yep, at the socket for skeleton one, which is our weapon, which is perfect. So that bit's all set up. And then from here, after it's done that, it's going to set the ammo to minus one. And that's a local reference because it's not getting a reference to anything else. So that bit's fine. From there, we're gonna get a player reference. And with this, we're gonna cast to the third person character and get the location of these muzzle sockets to spawn the projectile as well. So what I'm gonna do is we've got equipped weapon here. Instead, I'm going to get secondary weapon and then with secondary weapon, we are going to get skeletal, if I can spell it correctly, get skeletal, get skeletal mesh and see if we can find it. Generally, it's gonna be one of the ones near the top and it's get skeletal mesh one. And make sure it's got the same name as our rifle mesh up in the components panel in the top left. With this target and target, the muzzle name, we set this exactly the same as we did before. So that should stay exactly where it is. And then with this at the end of it, it should just set world just like that. If we compile everything, we should be good to go. And from here, now, if we go ahead and press play, run over the second weapon, shoot from it, you can see it's going to reduce the counter for the second weapon, which is perfect. However, as of right now, I cannot reload the second weapon as I can with the first one. But that's something that we're gonna be working on in just a moment. So as for the reloading, what we're gonna do then is find our reloading script. And then inside of this re re reloading script, we're gonna do the same thing as we did for the firing system in the sense that we are just gonna be taking a look at it and just making it work for the secondary weapon as well, just switching based on the integer selected. So I'm gonna find my input for reloading. So just go through these, the little red ones, and look for your reload. And then over here, you can see all we're gonna do is use the reload function. Now what we're gonna have to do is just make it use the reload function for the second weapon instead. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab my reload script and I'm gonna move it over here. And then with it all selected, I'm gonna press uh, C to comment it and just give it the name reload so I know exactly what I'm working with. Then I'm gonna make it a little bit longer 
And then with this, after pressed, what we're going to do is do what we did before, which was switch on integer. And then we're going to create three pins, one and two, so zero, one and two, with the selection for this being the weapon selected. Hook it up into here. And then with this, we're going to break the pin for default. And we're going to hook this up to number one, because this is our reload function for our equipped weapon, which is our first weapon. So what I'm going to do is get a reference to our secondary weapon. And with this, drag it out, and we are going to use the reload function. Now we're going to have to adjust this later on, so it reloads the ammo counters in the secondary weapon. But, you know, it's fine to put it in here for now. And then the output get and get one, just make sure both of these are hooked up to all. And then just use this branch. I've just copied and pasted this and hook this up into your condition. For this, we're going to run a delay because this is how long it's going to take to play the reload animation. And then with this, we are going to set is reloading to untrue, which is perfect. And we actually set is reloading to true as part of this function. So what I'm going to do is double click the reload for my M4A1. And you can see this is my M4A1 because it says it here. Double click it to open it up. And then inside of here, what it should do is be a whole bunch of local references, which seems to be the case, which is OK. And hopefully, all of this should just work. So what I'm going to do is just close up my blueprints, press play, shoot a couple bullets in the AK-47, press reload. It plays the reload animation and works for that weapon. I'm going to go to my second weapon, but I need to pick that up first. With that selected, press 2, shoot a couple of bullets, press R to reload, and that has reloaded our weapon for us and every time I shoot a bullet press R it's gonna take it away from our max ammo and that is pretty much everything for our aiming and our reload system all set up anyway guys I'm gonna end off the video here once again thanks for watching guys stay awesome keep creating your boy Virtus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.